Hi, my name is Nick. I'm a trainee, a professional Japanese teacher. So, small two sound. This is called a simulated sound or sokuon in Japanese. This sound will change the meaning of the word. So make sure you watch this video all the way till the end so you can tell what exactly you were trying to say. Here we go. Okay, this is a tricky one, but basically we cut the sound before this sokuon sound by using the next articulation that comes after this sokuon sound. It's hard to understand, so let me explain step by step. Okay, first, look at these words. Kite kudasai. Kite kudasai. Do you hear the difference? Listen to how I pronounce again. Kite kudasai. Kite kudasai. There's an extra silent sound on this word. And by the way, kudasai means please in general. And kite means cut. And kite means come, like come over or come in or come here. So, you know, these words are completely different. And in case you're wondering, these ki and te sounds are pronounced in exactly same way. We kind of eliminate this sound and hold this beat with the silent sound. But we don't completely eliminate this sound. I shared about this in the previous videos, but we don't pronounce in a syllable. We pronounce in mora, so every single sound should be pronounced to the same length. This is how we pronounce, and this is the key to pronounce this sokuon sound. For example, there's seven moras on this word. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. And in this word, one, two, three, four, five, six. Six moras. Which means we have to pronounce every single moras to the same length, including this silent beat. If you want to know more about this mora sound unit, you can check my previous videos from the description box. All right. Listen to how I say. Kite kudasai. If I completely eliminate this sound, I'm going to be sounding like Kite kudasai. It sounds okay for you, but we hear this a little weird. This is the trick. We cut the airflow with the next articulation that comes after this sokuon. Articulation means how you pronounce or how you use your mouth to create a specific sound. So in this case, the articulation that comes after this sokuon is te. How you pronounce te sound is your tip of your tongue is touching your upper jaw and push the tongue with the airflow. T, so you can create t sound when the tip of your tongue is pushed out. So right after you say ki sound, you kind of interrupt the airflow by touching your upper jaw with the tip of your tongue. As long as your tip of your tongue is touching your upper jaw, you can't, uh, the airflow doesn't go through. So you can't create any sounds. Try this. Ki, ki. So you can cut the airflow. Ki, te, ki, te. This is the soak one. Another example of this soak one is Sentaku ki. This kanji means machine 
and these kanji means laundry, which means wash machine. So, the right way to say is sentakuki. Sentakuki. But, it's difficult to pronounce because there's two consonants are sticking together. I mean, two sen consonants. So, we kind of eliminate this ku sound and make the sokuon sound. Sentaki. This is easier to pronounce for us. Okay, so, you know the drill. How you say ki sound is you push up the back of your tongue and make kind of explosion sound. So, say, after you say senta, then senta, cut the airflow with the key or uh, with the K articulation. Senta, ki. So you can create this sokuon sound. Try this. Senta, ki. Okay, so it's difficult to do with the new words, so why don't we practice with the words that we already know. Tick tock. Clock is ticking, or the name of the social media, whatever. So, you want to put an extra space on uh, between C and K. So, it's going to be, it's going to be like this. Take Talk. Right? This is the sokuon. And if I write in Japanese, it's gonna be it's gonna be like this. TikTok. There's three moras on each word. Like this. One, two, three, three moras. One, two, three, three moras. Okay? Tiktoku. This is what we say. And tiktok. This is how we say. I mean, in English. Okay, so we want to add an extra, extra silent sound on this word. So tiktok. This is the sock one. Try this. Tiktok. If you can say this, you're mastering the Sokwon sound. All right, now here's the question of the day. What sound is most difficult for you to pronounce? Let me know in the comments below. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you in the next video. Arigato.